Let's look at on how to approach the SAP FI certification exam. The exam title is called SAP Certified Application Associate in Financial Accounting with ERP 6 Enhancement Package 6. This is a version of your exam. This is the title of your certification, SAP Certified Application Associate. It tells you which module you're specializing in, that is financial accounting, what's the system, that is ERP-6, and what's the version, EHP-6. So this is your title of your exam. Every exam in SAP has an exam code. Now your code is C underscore TFIN52 underscore 66. So this is your exam code. When you actually try to book an exam, you must mention this code to book the relevant exam. This code is linked to this particular certification. The exam consists of 80 questions and you have the time of 3 hours to do it. The pass mark as of now is 64%. So you should try to aim at least to get 2 thirds of the question right which will come close to about 66 to 67%. So then you have guaranteed to pass. But of course it always as a benchmark try to aim higher. This is a link to book your exam or this is a link which gives you all the details for your exam. So you can just directly click on it or just copy it and paste it into your browser and that will take you to the SAP certification page. So if you can copy and paste it in your browser, you will get this screen coming on. So this will give you the SAP training and certification shop, that's the main web page. You see your exam code over here, you see the exam title over here and you see all the relevant details, what is SAP component or module that is financial accounting, what is the solution, ERP financials, level of the certification, associate, what is it for certification. Here you can see the pass mark, how many exam questions, what is the time, what are the language this exam is available in. It also gives you some description and notes and so on. And depending on your country, you will also see the currency and your country also linked over here. Now if you are doing this exam in Singapore and you put this, if you are actually located in Singapore and you put the link, you will get it in Singapore dollars. If you are in Australia, you will get it in Australian dollars. And you will also see when the exam is next available. The dates are also given. So you can just directly click on add to basket and book the dates. And if you scroll down, you will find the topic areas, general ledger accounting, asset accounting, accounts payable, financial closing and so on. And if you just click on this, you will see all some of the subcomponents of this. There is also some general information also given. So this is how you actually sit for your, your, before you book for your exam, you need to specify the link, copy the link in your browser, then you get the details. You need to first of all book the exam in, with SAP, pay the uh, amount with, for SAP depending on which country you are and then they will give you a voucher code. With that voucher code you will have to go to another test center called Pearson View and in that you will have to specify the voucher code and book the exam on your preferred location and dates. I will explain this in more detail in the next coming slides. Let's coming back to the exam code again. This is your exam code, 80 questions, 3 hours and the pass marks. For the exam, all the questions are closed ended questions which means you select the answers. Open ended questions means you might be asked a question and you have to reply with an answer. That's mostly in interviews. But in this exam, you have to select the answer. So it's like multiple choice questions. So there are three type of questions you will get. One is a multiple choice question with one correct answer. So there will be a question, there can be three or four answers and you need to select the correct answer, only one answer will be correct. Then there can be multiple choice questions with more than one answer. Now this becomes a bit tricky because there will be one question and there might be five answers. In that five answers only two or three or even four or even five can be correct. Unlikely that all will be correct. Most likely it will be between two to four. 